Welcome to Handlet, the online instructional cooking show brought to you by Team Cuisine. I'm Prince Atari. I'm Josh. And today, we're going to teach you how to make a bacon chicken pot pie. With a cob smoked bacon weave as the top. And obviously our home melt fully cooked bacon. We're going to blow their minds. Yeah. So uh, pause the screen right over here. Go fetch all those ingredients and be a good boy or girl. Come back and let's cook. So we got the uh, chicken over here. We're not gonna cook it like usual on the frying pan. Today we're gonna boil it. Just do like handfuls at a time. You just don't wanna get any of that splash damage. And slowly add your chicken to the pot. So once you put the chicken in the boiling water, put the lid on it and let it sit for 20 minutes. In the meantime, I'm gonna get on the roof for our bacon chicken pot pie. So once the butter starts melting, add your onions. Am I supposed to use all the onions for this roux? Amir uh, is working on that roux. The chicken is in a hot tub getting nice and cooked. Chicken jacuzzi. Wait a minute, that's a great idea for an episode. Ugh. So I have my uh, flour over here. I'm gonna add some sugar. Now I'm gonna throw some of this chopped up black label bacon into this flour sugar mixture. Once all the flour and the bacon have combined, add the shortening. Just mix it all together. Mix until this, then add a cup of rain. He actually did go outside and get a cup of rain. It's a bit wet, don't worry. Just add a bit more flour and then turn it out with your hands on a floured surface. Once the crust is pulled together, just knead it out on a floured surface. Look at this thing. Look at this hair. It's ah. out of control. Sonic the Hedgehog. Do, 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 do. This is what we're looking for. Once you achieve this, wrap it in saran wrap or plastic wrap and throw it in the fridge until you're ready to build. I've got some holiday ham over here. I'm gonna slice it up and then chop it up into cubes. So our onions are translucent, fully cooked. Time to add some flour pow. When you mix it together, this is how you make old fashioned gravies. This will get real nice and thick. So we got our onions, butter, and flour. Gonna go and add some chicken broth and milk. A little bit at a time. So you wanna make sure you get a thick, thick sauce for our chicken bacon pot pie. Add your ham cubes to a bowl. And I'm gonna chop these up into uh, not small bits, but more like uh, Hormel breath strips. Now you want to combine all the chicken. No peas and carrots allowed. Josh is giving our meat a good mix. I'm going to start making this bacon weave. Here's working on that bacon weave and I'm rolling out our pie crust. You want it about an eighth of an inch thick. And then I'm going to show you a cool trick. You might be asking yourself, Josh, how do you roll the dough out on the table and then get it to the dish? Or maybe you're just incapable of having independent thoughts. Re-roll the dough in your rolling pin, like you see me do and then grab your dish and just roll it back out on top of it with gravity. Don't cut it off until you fill the bowl. Take a fork and pierce the bottom of the pie dish. This is gonna make it not bubble up. Pie crust is in the dish. Now we're gonna fill it with this mixture. As we said before, no peas and carrots. Once you fill the entire dish with the meat, add the roux. Amir? Yeah, this is gonna give it that thick, Thick, goody, goody, home cook feeling. Comfort food. Mm, I favorite. love being comfortable in bed while eating food. Okay, the roux is on, and now we're gonna add our bacon weave. You want me to just dump it on there? Yeah, dump it on, and then we'll place it. Once you're done fitting the bacon weave, cut off the excess dough, put the dish on a baking tray, and put it in the oven for 45 minutes. Don't forget to degrease every 15 minutes, or else you end up with a mess. That looks amazing, man. Let's indulge. Bacon chicken pot pie. That's it. All right, well, we made it. Thanks for coming on this journey with us, right? It was a great one and an easy one, too. Can't wait to taste that cob smoked bacon. Yeah, I want to know what it's all about, right? Remember to like, favorite, share, subscribe, all that social media goodness. And remember, you don't need to know anything about cooking to know how to cook. You just need to tune in to handle it every single weekend for the next 150 years.